Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Tina, and uh, finally, <clears throat> after three introduction videos, we will write our first servlet filter. Okay, so now let's go to IntelliJ. Uh, I have the project and the basic structure set up already to save our time and the dependency I have a servlet API that's the only uh, dependency we need and for this one because I copy paste the POM file from a previous uh, demo you know uh, previous demos are talking about GSTL that's why it's here okay that it's not a necessary needed for this project but you need to have this one and the other things is the basic okay exactly same as other demos as before uh, so first i'm gonna do is to create a, a servlet the reason is when we make a request the request eventually will go to the servlet most of the time and then we will add a filter which is stand in the middle right so here I will have a, let's just have a welcome, welcome servlet, okay? And to be a servlet, we have to extend the HTTP, what? Servlet. So, and even though here we use, we have a web.xml file, we still be able to use annotation. And this is our servlet. And in do get what I'm gonna do is uh, first I'll out print line something uh, welcome servlet okay and here I will have a do get method Dun -dun -dun -dun. three dot and here I will just uh, output uh, something okay so what just make sure our request will end in our servlet and later on we, will, we can do other demos okay uh, to compare the difference so response dot set content, content, uh, content type I'll use text plan so I don't need to write those HTML about the other things okay response get writer dot print line okay this yes welcome servlet do get method good exclamation okay and uh, we are done and now we it's time to write uh, uh, actually it's better like it's better yes so we deploy and make sure our project structure works okay so if some problem happens it's easier for us to debug you know Oh, it works, right? And now let's write our first servlet. Hey, why the code twice? Oh, I don't understand why the code twice. Okay. We just refresh, okay? Refresh. Should have one, only once. Good. Now we will create our filter. What is a filter? Uh, here, I will call request. Uh, prom. Uh, just the call request the login filter. Okay. Uh, probably just, just do like this. One. Okay. In order to be a filter, you must implement filter and make sure this filter is implemented Jakarta servlet from this package. Okay. And uh, in the filter, it has an abstract method we have to implement which is a do field method we talked about in previous video and for the init and destroy um, it already provide a default implementation but actually do nothing okay it's so it's your it's your choice to override or not okay based on your requirement and for here we will override all of them so later on we can demo the uh, life cycle you know so from here uh suppose uh, from here we will show you i will show you later uh, for the these two suppose in do filter we type some we 
add some comment here. Okay, request the login filter and do filter. Okay, dun, 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 dun. and we add the one. Dun, dun. Okay, we can also add the local data time dot now. Okay, and now when we redeploy our application and we make the same request to the web welcome welcome this servlet what's gonna happen nothing will happen nothing okay see here refresh just go to it's it didn't get to our filter right it just go to the welcome servlet okay the reason is we have our servlet but we didn't tell the URL pattern, okay? Which when we make a request, this request will go to this sub a filter, and this request will go to the other filter. All it depends on the mapping, okay? And let me show you the XML way to do the mapping, uh, to config. So here, this is our XML way to config and uh, the this configuration is the same as the servlet you have to put inside the web.xml file and later on we will teach you the annotation version okay and uh, it also has kind of like uh, three names and the first one is a filter name this name is used uh, locally okay and uh, here I have another filter name and this one is internal name and these two filter name must match exactly like the servlet it has servlet name has to be exactly the same second one is a filter class which is actual class uh, representing the filter or do the task okay and uh, similar to the servlet you can have uh, initialize init, init parameter which is initialization parameters you can have as many as you want and uh, this in, uh, init param is optional, okay? Based on your requirement, you have a key value pair. And uh, to get this parameter, I will show you later, we will use uh, uh, filter config. It's like a servlet config, okay? The filter, uh, filter config is a per filter config, per uh, filter. It's like a servlet config per servlet config per servlet. Okay, can only grab the init parameters associated with that particular filter. Okay, and here is the URL pattern. Decide when to invoke that filter. Okay, oh, well, let me wait, 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 wait for a second. Erase pen. Okay, and let me. Okay. So this URL pattern will decide when your request will when your when your filter is gonna be called. Okay, this is one way use URL pattern, and this one is the most uh, is the most often be used be used. Okay, and there is another one is use the servlet name. This one I never used, okay, which is based on the server name, it will map to that uh, URL pattern. We can test it later, but this one I never used. Either URL pattern or server name is mandatory, okay? You either provide a URL pattern or either provide a server name. For the dispatcher, the default is a request. And later on, I will show, we will have another video to explain the dispatcher here. It might have uh, arrow, uh, forward, include, and other options, okay? And this dispatcher is, is also used to limit the scope which the filter will target for, okay? Limit the scope. So now let's configure this part in our uh, web.xml to make sure our filter well it's working okay so discard and i will go to our this part and uh, to config xml way we will go here and the first one is a filter i don't know why my IntelliJ doesn't show the you know the auto complete filter name 
uh, then we have to do like this way Re, uh, requesting login uh, filter okay and uh, we will have a filter class class and here is a miss xing dot oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. xing dot filter dot request filter right and uh, we can have some init prom okay prom uh, what what's the value i forgot uh any uh, prom name prom value prom name prom value from name and here is a uh, uh, author. <laughs> I don't know what what should I, what should I give a uh, prom. This is annoying. Okay, uh, Miss Xing. It's better to have like you know the intelligent automatically like uh, auto complete filter mapping. Okay, F I L T R. It's a correct spelling, right? F I L F I L T R filter filter mapping okay and the filter name is exactly same I just copy paste and the, the first one I will choose URL pattern I, we are also talking about the mapping later okay and this is match all okay so now uh, let's uh, redeploy and see what's gonna happen okay we just configured and let's take a look at what's gonna happen we will redeploy everything and uh, we will make a request to welcome server later again okay deploy successfully and now go here refresh nothing being shown here and see here it actually go where it actually go to our do filter but it didn't go to our servlet, right? The reason is uh, do uh, the filter chain, okay? When the request um, goes to the Tomcat, okay? Tomcat take, okay, the URL pattern, and he will resolve a filter chain. And here they say, okay, I have to go to this filter first. When it go to the filter, you didn't, you kind of like stopped here. You didn't tell what's the next, uh, uh, you didn't uh, uh, tell I will pass the request to next target. And uh, you miss, we miss one step, which is uh, do filter. Okay, and a server request and a server response. This step is doing, this one is doing pass the request to next filter in the chain here we don't have so if no filter then it will pass to the servlet okay so now let's redeploy and this filter chain is resolved by tomcat okay we didn't handle it and now uh, we go and refresh okay comes out and uh, when we go IntelliJ URC the request first go to our filter and then go to our servlet right but we talked about in our uh, I forgot which video okay here a second video the request will go through the fil filter then go to the servlets and when it return in the filter we can it will also go back to our filter and in the filter we can alter the response right but from here well I didn't see because it will go to the filter first then go to the servlets and I didn't see anything else the reason is we miss one thing if I add something after this do filter then you will see this one will also be called the after call after the call inside the uh, servlet it will also go back to our do filter and then go back to our uh what um browser okay go back to a container and go back to the browser okay so let's see okay and uh, refresh nothing happened here right but it's happened here see here 
Uh, I refresh the twice. Okay, request. This is the second request, and you will go to filter. After go to filter, you will go to servlet, and after go to servlet, you will go back to the uh, filter. So here we can do is uh, here we can get all the request parameter, right? We can also set some attribute. Okay, here is suppose I say to, uh, something like. Uh, uh, Oh, what should I do? Handsome, handsome guy. Edward, Edward in Twilight. <laughs> um, after this, I can I can do what response? I can add one response, right? Uh, get writer and dot print line. Okay, print line. Uh, Edward, yes, very. And then we will go here, yes, in the uh, servlet, see if we can get the attribute. Sister out, okay? Request dot get attribute. And here we will use handsome guy. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, okay, so let's see. Here, deploy. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Good. And now let's go to our browser. Yeah. Where's my browser? Hey, my browser. My browser. Come out. Okay. Refresh once. Oh, here I have a servlet and Edward, Edward is handsome on the client, uh, client. But in our servlet, right? Okay, oh my God, what happened? Here. Hey, where's my, where's my, where's my, where's my, why this one didn't come out? Oh, I make it uh, not uh, sorry. Okay, so why didn't it come out here? Here, here. So here, let, let let's take a look at it. Sorry for that. Okay, so here when I make a request, first it will go to our filter. See, this is one. Okay, and then it will go to our servlet. Go to servlet. You will see welcome servlet being printed, and uh, I can actually get an error word. Right, that means. Uh, before the request goes to servlet, it will go to our filter. And in the filter, you can actually alternate, you can actually change the request parameter and change the attribute, uh, get the request header information. You can change the request, right, from here, right? Here I see an attribute, and in our servlet, we get an attribute, okay? And also, uh, the filter after the field uh, after the request it will after the request is done in the servlet uh, servlet and uh, here I only has uh, this is a welcome to get inside of the response from the servlet right and it will go back to our filter again and in the filter I alternate the response no no no, no not alt alter okay change the response okay modify the response see here Edward is very handsome, is from our filter. And you can see here is Edward is handsome. Okay. And if we have another servlet, and all the servlet will have an attribute handsome guy, and all the response, it will also has Edward is very handsome in the response. Okay. So here is to demo you the do filter will stand in the middle. Okay. And between the requ request from the container uh, and the, 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 the you got client and the, the servlet, okay? Next one, I want to show you the life cycle. Here, life cycle, uh, how about we trying to get the parameter? You need a parameter, this one. You need a parameter. 
we can do is uh, from the filter config dot to get a parameter names. Okay. Okay. And uh, here we are give us a uh, enumeration of the string. I haven't worked with enumeration of the string for a long time. And uh, names equals. Let's do a loop. Oh, I have to wear names that has more element. Uh, a filter config dot get init prom. And here I will use names dot next element. And here I will have a system out on this piece, okay? Here, a uh, system out uh, name. Uh, okay, sorry, sorry. String name equals names dot next element. And here, I will do like this one. And here, we will give a name. Otherwise, it will kind of like a step is a two, right? And now, after here, uh, this one is done. And uh, this is the init, okay? And, um, oh, sorry, I have to add this one. Name, plus, 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 okay? Like this, okay. Okay, and the other one I want to show you is this one, destroy. Uh, destroy. Destroy method, okay. Uh, code only once, okay. Let me add another one here. And this one is uh, init method code also only once for entire life cycle of the filter. And uh, I also want to do is uh, here uh, have a two, okay. This one another filter name. And uh, here I will use uh, request login filter as the name. Okay. Now uh, let's uh, deploy and uh, uh, see if we can get the if we can we will prove of init and destroy will be called only once and we can also get uh, init parameters. Okay. Initialization parameters. See here. When we deploy, see here, init code only once. And I have the filter, init parameter filter name, request login, and author is Miss XNG, right? And now when we refresh our page, no matter how many times we, we refresh, you will not see the init method being called again. See here, right? So this part is only called once, see here, right? And now let's shut down our uh, container. You will see destroy method being called only once. Okay. So uh, that's our first demo about uh, the do uh, filter. Okay. Just to take a look at the life cycle and uh, how do filter is actually working, stand in the middle between the browser and uh, the servlet, okay? And also take a look at uh, how to use web.xml or XML to do the configuration. And uh, later on, we will talk about uh, uh, more about the URL pattern and others, okay? Um, thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.